And now, the number one most requested song on WQQR. Oh my god, it's our team! Making my way through my non horror VHS collection. <laughs> Hope you guys liked my um, parody of Thousand Miles by Vanessa Carlton. How did you know? I love this song! <laughs> hey everybody, welcome to the channel. This is What a Ghoul Wants, and this is my part two of going through my non-horror VHS collection. So I do have a full two videos going through all of my horror VHS tapes, which I have linked in the description, and I'll put a card up here as well if you just want to go to that and watch me talk about my horror VHS tapes. Today is going to be all about just continuing going through my non-horror VHS. So this might turn into a three-part series. I just have so many non-horror VHS tapes that I don't know if I'll get through all of the rest in this video. We're just going to have to see. I have a feeling I'm not, but I said this in the first one, but if you see any movie that you want to purchase, I'm definitely open to selling a lot of these VHS tapes. So please hit me up if you want to buy any of the ones that you see in this video or in the part one of my non-horror VHS. So we're just going to hop on in with our first VHS and that is American Beauty. This is such an iconic VHS cover with just the girl's stomach in the rose. Of course we know that Kevin Spacey is not a good guy, but I did enjoy this movie when I first saw it. So um, yeah, I, I do think it's kind of a classic of American cinema. I haven't seen it in quite a while, so I would like to rewatch it and see how I feel about it on a rewatch. Um, just knowing everything that went down with Kevin Spacey, I might not like it as much, but you know, I have it on VHS, so no money would be going to him if I watched it on here. So American Beauty. Next up, we've got Independence Day. It's just funny because all I can think about now looking at this is Will Smith at the Oscars. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, I have never seen this movie. I know it's a pretty popular one. Um, I just don't know why I've never seen it. But yeah, I'll, I'll definitely watch it one day. I guess alien movies just aren't really my jam. They, I don't generally seek them out. But I am interested to see how the special effects hold up in this one. But um, Independence Day. And I did say this in the first one, but a lot of these I just got for free. Uh, they were either in, you know, free movie pickups from Facebook Marketplace or, you know, our local. We have some free stuff groups on Facebook and everything. So I just look on those and see if anybody is getting rid of VHS tapes. And I just have my non horror separated from all that. So a lot of these I haven't seen and um, I just kind of acquired. So uh, this is another one that I haven't seen. But um, Angela's Ashes? I actually don't know anything about this. It looks like it's probably pretty sad. I don't know. This kid on the front cover looks pretty upset. Um, so it looks like some sort of maybe coming to America type thing. Oh, um, life in impoverished depression era Ireland. Okay. So that could be interesting. Looks just like your pretty standard historical drama type movie. But if you've seen this and you like it, let me know and I might actually watch it. But <laughs> Angela's Ashes. Next, we have a very popular thriller, What Lies Beneath, and this is another one I haven't seen. I know it's supposed to be really good, I'm pretty sure. Um, I think some people think it's a little slow, um, and then others I know really like it. So um, Harrison Ford and Michelle Pfeiffer, I do like those two actors a lot, so I would absolutely be open to watching this. Um, and I know that this scene is pretty iconic, so... Um, I can't remember if I've actually seen this bathtub scene, but I don't know if that ruins the movie or not. So yeah, I'll definitely watch this one day, but um, what lies beneath? <laughs> Next we have a Jerry Springer. Oh, got a little puka hair on there. Uh, <laughs> puka is my dog for those who are new here. Um, also, if you're new here and you are liking what you're seeing, please consider hitting that subscribe button. Um, and liking this video if you like what I'm doing right now. But we've got a Jerry Springer. I don't know if this is a compilation video of a bunch of different like relationship episodes or yeah, I think it's a compilation video. Uh, it says over the show's history, relationships have provided some of the wildest, most controversial material. Now you can see the best moments from these incredible shows all on one unbelievable video. So they're really selling this. Um, <laughs> Yeah, I don't really like Jerry Springer. I maybe have only seen a couple, like, clips from his show. But, yeah, I don't know how I feel about him. If you like him or you are collecting tapes like this, then please let me know. And definitely be open to selling this one for sure. 
But uh, Jerry Springer, wild relationships. <laughs> Next is Arnold <laughs> in True Lies. Uh, yeah, I'm sorry. That was a really bad Arnold Schwarzenegger impression. <laughs> um, I don't know anything about this either. It looks like it is probably a action movie uh, of some kind. Of course, it's Arnold Schwarzenegger. So probably he's holding a gun. Um, it says a gargantuan thrill machine on the cover. So... <laughs> I don't know about that. I haven't really heard about it. So, oh, I think it's directed by James Cameron, too. Oh, and Jimmy Lee Curtis is in it. Well, maybe I actually will watch this. I was going to say, I don't know if I'll ever watch this, but that does sound kind of interesting. So, um, yeah, again, if you've seen this and you like it and you recommend it, let me know. Uh, True Lies. Next up, we've got a classic action movie, and that is Lethal Weapon. Um, Mel Gibson and Danny Glover. Mel Gibson, another problematic person. I actually haven't seen this. As you can probably tell, I'm not a big action person. I've got to be in the right mood to watch an action movie, honestly. Uh, and this is, you know, kind of like quintessential buddy cop type movie, which aren't usually my jam either. So yeah, I know this one is a favorite for a lot of people. So maybe one day I will see it, but <laughs> Lethal Weapon. I'm sure you're sensing a trend of me just not having seen a lot of these movies. And there are going to be some I talk about that I have seen, but a lot of them I haven't. So uh, sorry about that. But next we've got Striptease. Uh, this one is pretty ripped up. But this is another one that you find a lot at Goodwills and thrift stores. Very iconic cover, of course, Demi Moore. Like, fully nude. Um, yeah, I've never seen this one. I'm assuming it's just about a stripper, really, but, uh, and some possibly thriller stuff ensues. I don't really know. I like Demi Moore, so I would give it a shot, but yeah, whoever had this copy was not very kind to it. <laughs> so, uh, striptease. Next, we have a sealed copy of The Birdcage. Again, another one I haven't seen. I do love Robin Williams, and Nathan Lane is really fun. Um, ooh, and Diane Weiss is in it, too, so... Yeah, this one is sealed all the way around. So if you've been looking for a sealed copy of The Birdcage, I have one. Please hit me up if you would like it. <laughs> yeah, this is one that I will probably watch uh, eventually because I have heard that it's really good. So The Birdcage. Next up, we have Powder. This is one I've seen clips from, or not clips, but just like, I think I looked up the trailer once because I was curious about it. Uh, and I think, I don't know, is he albino? I'm not really sure. The front says, an extraordinary encounter with another human being. This one, I think, is a pretty cult film. I think I confused this with Pin, um, if anyone's seen that. I don't know why the people kind of look similar. I know Pin is like um, some kind of medical dummy or something like that, but, oh, Jeff Goldblum's in it. See, I, I know so little about these movies that I, I'm just finding these out by looking at the back covers. I'll watch anything with Jeff Goldblum once, so I'll give this a try. Powder. Next is one I have actually seen. <laughs> Robin Hood Men in Tights, and I do remember finding this one really funny. Um, I love Carrie Elway's. He's awesome, and of course, if it's a Mel Brooks film, it's gonna be funny, so... Uh, yeah, I really, really want to rewatch this because it's been a very long time since I saw it. This was one that I watched uh, quite a bit as a kid, um, not as much as others, but, uh, there was some family friends that almost always had it playing for some reason. They loved it. So I would always watch it there, but, um, yeah, this one's really fun. Maybe not my favorite Mel Brooks film. I really love Young Frankenstein and I would really love to have that on VHS, but, uh, it's still a good watch. So Robin Hood, Men in Tights. Next up is Major League. Uh, this is one with Charlie Sheen, baseball movie. Uh, looks like it might have Wesley Snipes as well. Yeah, I haven't seen this one. Um, there is a cute little Pekingese on here. I wonder what he's doing. <laughs> I don't really know what's happening with this mohawk on this baseball. I have no clue. I'm also not a big sports movie person either. So this is one I'm not chomping at the bit to watch by any means, but... Again, if you like it and you recommend it, please let me know and maybe I will watch it, but Major League. Speaking of baseball movies, we got Field of Dreams. I, I'm i sure I've seen this one at least once, uh, probably when I was a kid, but don't remember much about it other than Kevin Costner's in it. And I do think I kind of confused this one with Angels in the Outfield. I don't know why. they. I guess they kind of have similar titles, 
But yeah, uh, Field of Dreams. <laughs> The next two are more Robin Williams movies. Uh, so we've got Goodwill Hunting, of course, a classic with little baby Matt Damon and Ben Affleck. And uh, I really remember liking Minnie Driver's performance as well. I remember her doing a really good job, but oh, I didn't realize that Robin Williams won Best Supporting Actor for it. But uh, yeah, Best Original Screenplay as well. Definitely due for a rewatch of this one, but Goodwill Hunting. And the other Robin Williams movie, uh, Dead Poet Society, another classic. Uh, these are two really, really good roles. Just he kills it in both of those films. But um, I'm sure I probably watched this one in high school, probably in English class or something like that. But another one, it's been a very long time since I've seen. But uh, this appears to be a pretty good copy. Um, yeah, nice and clean. So... If you are a lover of Dead Poets Society and you would like to purchase this VHS, let me know. Next up is Deliverance, another classic and another one I have not seen. I know I do really want to watch this movie because it's still talked about to this day. So so I feel like I have to watch it to have that knowledge of such a culturally significant film. Um, but I do love Burt Reynolds and um, I'm sure John Voight's really good in it, too. <laughs> I, I think he looks pretty young. Is that him right here? Um, yeah, because this was what from the 70s, right? Um, yeah, so I will definitely watch this at some point. It's been on my watch list for quite a while, but I have a feeling that I would like it. So Deliverance. Th this next one I got, um, I think it was at Goodwill. And I got it because I thought it looks like something that would be so bad it's good. But um, <laughs> that is Born Bad. And again, this is something I don't know anything about. But it looks like some guys are trying to break into a safe... Um, possibly rob a bank or something. And I'm um, sure some bad stuff ensues from there. But uh, it's got Corey Feldman, which is interesting. <laughs> so yeah, um, I really do want to watch this because I'm sure it's probably pretty bad. Is this the guy right here? Is this the You're Killing Me Smalls guy from um, The Sandlot? <laughs> that would be very interesting too. Uh, yeah, this movie just looks wild, but I will report back on this one and let you all know if I watch it and what I think about it because, again, I'm hoping it's so bad it's good. So, yeah, born bad. <laughs> Next, we have Lost Souls, uh, Winona Ryder in a thriller. Uh, again, don't really know what it's about. Not sure if it's good or not, but another movie I would probably just watch for uh, the sake of the actor that's in it, Winona Ryder. So, um, I don't really know who Ben Chaplin is, but... He is also in it, so looks like it could be an interesting little early 2000s thriller, so. Lost Souls. Next up is Backstreet. I think this is a 30s movie. Um, again, I'm sorry, I don't know anything about this one. Susan Hayward and John Gavin. Don't know those actors either, so yeah. Don't really have anything else to say about this one, but Backstreet. Next is a comedy that I absolutely love, and that is 9 to 5. I do love this one a lot. We have the powerhouse trio of uh, Dolly and Jane and Lily, and they just do such a good job. It's so much fun. Just really uh, goofy and still kind of biting and commentary on working place women and what they have to deal with in the 80s. So... I really, really love it so much. Uh, this is another one I haven't watched in quite a while, but um, also the theme song is just a straight banger. Yeah, this is another one that I go back to and um, I never get tired of it every time I see it. So uh, if you haven't seen 9 to 5, please go watch it as soon as possible because it is really, really great. Next up is Beaches. Um, again, another one I don't really know anything about other than that Bette Midler is in it. But yeah, another one that I think a lot of people like. Uh, Barbara Hershey is also in it. It's got a piano. One of them plays a the piano, maybe? I don't know. I am interested in whatever is happening with Bette Midler and this, like, interesting turban um, bunny ears situation happening. <laughs> no clue what that's about, but uh, yeah, so beaches. Next is another sealed tape, and that is Sophie's Choice. Uh, again, another one I haven't seen. I know I'm kind of uh, getting tired of saying that, but... It's true. I'm sorry. I haven't seen this one. Um, of course, we know Meryl Streep stars and I know it's a pretty heartbreaking drama. So this is one that I definitely will watch eventually because people still talk about it to this day. But um, this is one I've kind of just been putting off. Sophie's Choice. 
Next up is the well-known Clint Eastwood movie, Dirty Harry. Again, another one I haven't seen. Uh, maybe I should just start saying when I actually have seen a movie and it'll just be understood if I don't say that, that I haven't seen the movie. But yeah, this again is one that I probably will watch eventually, but it is not at the top of my watch list. Dirty Harry. Y'all are really going to kill me for not having seen this one, but E.T. Yes, I've never seen E.T. Of course, I know it's one of the most iconic children's movies and one of Spielberg's, I guess, most beloved movies, although he has so many. But uh, yeah, I love this cover because it just kind of encompasses the whole cover with this background and then the moon and they're so tiny up here on the bike. I promise, I promise that I will watch this one. <laughs> I know, it's kind of ridiculous that I haven't, but I just never watched it as a kid. I don't know why. Um, but if you love E.T. and you want to own it on VHS, hit me up. <laughs> uh, next is American History X. Uh, Edward Norton is the star of this one. I have never seen it, but um, it does seem interesting. I think it's about like neo-Nazis, I'm pretty sure. I do like Edward Norton, so I'm sure I would like to see his performance, but yeah, it does seem interesting. So um, American History X. This is another one that I got for free in just a batch of VHS tapes. It's Michael Nes Nesmith in Elephant Parts. I have no idea. It it's, seems like it was maybe a low budget indie, like this guy produced it or something. Um says it's an original film produced especially for the home video lover. Packed with a full 60 minutes of nonstop laughs and music, Nesmith and his cast of crazy characters oversee the transformation of Joanne into Rodden. Rodden? Um, Burger Kings into Sky Pilots and Neighborhood Nuclear Superiority into a Reality? Sounds interesting. <laughs> Again, this could be another like, so bad it's good. Yeah, I am very curious about this one. I would like to watch it just to see what it's about, really, because it seems, seems very weird. <laughs> so, uh, Elephant Parts. Another kind of weird uh, little VHS that I just happened to come across. And this is Bill Dance Dancing Bloopers, Real and Fun with America's Number One Fisherman and his friends. So, yeah, just like fishing bloopers, I guess. I don't know. <laughs> the cover says, hilarious moments with Bill and his celebrity guests, guaranteed to make you laugh, hook, line, and sinker. Very curious to know who the celebrity guests are, because um, I have never heard of this man before. <laughs> so, yeah. Very interesting. <laughs> so, yes, dance and bloopers. Next, we've got some clamshells. <laughs> and this one is The Adventures of Milo and Otis. This is a really weird one. <laughs> I saw this uh, as an adult, actually. I never watched it as a kid, but this cat and this pug just kind of getting some crazy adventures together. It's very odd. I think it was produced like it's a Japanese movie uh, and they just did like uh, English voiceover. I could be wrong about that, but I, I think I remember reading that somewhere. But yeah, this is a weird little kids film live action from maybe the 70s. Oh, maybe 80s, actually. It is really strange, but it, it is cute. Uh, if you just want to watch animals kind of romping around, getting into animal shenanigans, then I'd suggest this movie. <laughs> the Adventures of Milo and Otis. Next clamshell, A Little Princess. I have seen this a few times. It wasn't a favorite as a kid, but uh, definitely a popular one around when I was young. Um, I think this was a book. I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Um, by the author of The Secret Garden. I did like The Secret Garden as well. Um, they have very like atmospheric, romantic style, live action uh, kids movies. Not romantic in like the love aspect, but in like the style of filming. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, there is, unfortunately, a huge tear on this cover and this plastic is just flapping all around. But uh, yeah, A Little Princess. Next up is The Muppet Christmas Carol. Uh, this is one that I didn't really watch as a kid but my husband did, and so we watch it pretty much every Christmas. Um, this copy is kind of gross and pretty beat up. Whoever I got it from did not take care of it very well, but um, yeah, this one's really good. Michael Caine is a really good Scrooge, and the Muppets are always fun, so. It's just so funny how many iterations of A Christmas Carol there are out there, but yeah, this one is cute. So the Muppet Christmas Carol. Next clamshell, Kiki's Delivery Service. Uh, I just love Ghibli films so much, and this is one, again, I haven't seen in quite a while, but 
Uh, I do remember it being very cute, very sweet. I just absolutely love the animation style of Ghibli movies. Kiki is just so adorable. Her little cat is so cute. Yeah, just her flying around on her broom, baking stuff. Always a fun time. <laughs> Kiki's delivery service. <laughs> Next is the Rugrats in Paris. Uh, love the orange clamshell for the Rugrats movies. I think they all have that um, orange clamshell. And then I don't, yep. <laughs> the tape itself is also orange. Very cool. This might actually be my only tape that is another color uh, besides black. So that is very neat. Yeah, Nickelodeon just really knew what they were doing with marketing these kinds of movies, but <laughs> saw this one forever ago when I was a kid. I did like the Rugrats, although we weren't really allowed to watch them because my mom thought that Angelica was a bad influence. <laughs> so we just didn't watch them as much as uh, some other shows, but I'm sure I did see this at some point, but um, I'd be interested to watch it again. The Rugrats are a fun time, and I think they hold up for adult rewatches. I think they're... Um, you know, they've got a good mix of kid humor and adult humor thrown in there too. So the Rugrats in Paris. So next up are some more clamshells, but they are, I don't know if you call them cut boxes in clamshells. This is where, I don't know if you can see up here, we've got a little blockbuster sticker. So um, video stores would do this. They would get in like the regular slipcase um, tapes like this, and they would cut the boxes up and slip them in these uh, cases trying to get it here so you can kind of see what I'm talking about. Uh, for those who weren't around for the, you know, whole VHS renting phase of videos. But yeah, so they would cut up the boxes and put them in here, I guess, to protect them and make them last longer. Uh, so yeah, I don't know if you call them cut boxes still. But anyway, this one, Robot Jocks, I have no clue. It looks like it's pretty bad. I don't know, just this cover looks pretty bad. The artwork on there, but um, some kind of weird sci-fi movie. Uh, I am interested to watch this because I'm sure it's pretty bad. I do love the little oh, science fiction sticker here. The back says, Robot Jocks, the massive killing machines of the future. So saw this at a thrift store and I was like, why not get it? It could be entertaining. So Robot Jocks. <laughs> We're almost to the end, I promise. Uh, this is definitely gonna be a three-parter. I'm gonna have to do one more video after this one, and that will definitely be the last video in this collection, <laughs> but. So the next of my clamshell cut box type VHS tapes, we have uh, Greystone, The Legend of Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. Um, it's got some kind of gross, sticky stuff on the front. I'm hoping that that's just from like, a sticker that was removed or something, but who knows with these used VHS tapes. <laughs> um, again, don't know anything about this one. It says Warner Home Video. I don't know if this is like a made for TV or straight to VHS type of movie. Um, looks like pretty standard Tarzan type movie, except he might be in high society at some point. I don't really know. <laughs> but um, yeah, this was just a weird one that I ended up with, but um, if you know anything about this, let me know. Tarzan, Lord of the Apes. And the last one I have of that kind of tape is Spring Break. Um, and this was directed by Sean S. Cunningham, who directed the original Friday the 13th. I did try to watch this one and I found it pretty boring. I uh, was not a fan. It's pretty low budget, 80s Spring Break teen movie. Pretty standard. Um, again, another one with some kind of gross sticky stuff on the cover. Blah. <laughs> but... I should really uh, clean these, I suppose. On this side, it says uh, $79.95. Uh, I don't know if you guys can see that. So I don't know if this originally sold for like 80 bucks, but I don't really know what it's worth now, but I'm sure it's a little sought after just because it was directed by Sean S. Cunningham. Um, and it is one of these RCA tapes, but I don't know if it being a cut box would affect the value of it at all. So, so if you want to buy this from me, please let me know. It does have a nice little please rewind sticker here. So really love that. <laughs> Just the old school kind of looking logo here for the RCA tape sticker. Yeah, I do really like that. So I think that's gonna do it for today. I've had a couple technical difficulties, so I'm just gonna cut it off here and finish the rest of this collection in part three. And that will be the last part of this series. So I will get back to more horror physical media content as soon as I get some more. I just have not had much luck with VHS tape hunting and I haven't been to 
thrift stores in a while. So hopefully I'll get back to that and start purchasing some more horror DVDs and uh, Blu-rays and VHS tapes. So I will absolutely let you guys know when I get some more and I will go through more of that collection. But for now, uh, still going through these non-horror VHS tapes, but I do hope that you all enjoy this content. Please let me know if you do. Uh, I do just stick mainly to horror on this channel if you're new here and this is your first time watching any of my videos, but I did just wanna go through all of my VHS tape collection and just do a run through of all the VHS tapes I own. So um, thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe if you're new here. I'm really trying to hit 1000 subs and get monetized here soon. Uh, I would really love for that to happen. So any view of my videos, any sub, any comment or like or share really, really helps my channel out a lot. So if you can do any of those things, I would so appreciate it. But thank you all so much for watching. I hope you all have a great day and I'll see you in the next one. Making my way downtown, walking fast, faces past and I'm homebound.